morning. Today is January 9th, 2021. My name is Father Trapp, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. My brothers and sisters, joy is not like a phone application that we can add and remove as we feel fit. Joy, my friends, is not optional. Joy is a must, and the stakes, my brothers and sisters, are high. A heart without joy is a heart without Christ. Joseph Campbell, an American professor, once stated, we can't cure the world of sorrows, but we can choose to live in joy. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, one states that the fruit of the Spirit is joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You see, friends, let's be honest. We all would love in a perfect world to be joyful all the time. But we also have to admit that it is hard. The battle for joy is uniquely exhausting and different. It's not clear what doing joyful things look like. Joyful actions don't simulate joyful feelings. Harvard psychologist Amy Cuddy made a name for herself, teaching us that we must fake it until we make it. Spend a few minutes with your arms behind your head and your legs up on your desk, she urges, and you will feel strong enough to negotiate a higher salary. Maybe, but you can't muster joy. You can't fake it. Joy defies manipulation. Simply because joy is delightful confidence in the triune God who orchestrated accomplished and applied our salvation. You see friends, God's people respond to his character and his actions joyfully. Joy is an inward affection that finds an outward expression. I repeat that, joy is an inward affection that finds an outward expression in praise and adoration and dare I say, even song. As long as your heart is at peace, you will always find joy, even in the midst of trouble. When you gladly choose to trust God, my friends, you will have joy. Let us take a moment now and let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for joy, an ending that comes from lingering long in your presence. And then remember your presence all day long. Please draw our hearts ever closer to yours, that you would be the first one we run to when our cup runs over with good news and celebration. Because after all, you are the giver of our cup and every single thing in it. It's in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day. Until we meet again.